who are you according to the Bible? According to the Bible? According to the Bible. What nationality are you? Yes, sir. Right. It's 18 nations in the Bible. Who are you? What does God call you? I don't know what God calls you. So you don't know what God calls you. So look on this side right here, brother. So what was your what would the what would your uh, nationality in this world be? An American, a so-called American black? Was that what your father is? American black. Oh. All right. So you would be from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's the greatest tribe. That's the, do you know what that's what tribe Christ come from? Give me Hebrews uh, seven and fourteen. So that that is one of the greatest tribes. That's where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes from. He comes out of Judah, right. and that's you have the same blood as Jesus Christ. I hope you know that. You understand that? Yes, sir. So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to uh, tell you your nationality. You're not black. You're not African American. How? African American, so America comes from Amerigo Vespucci, that's an Italian navigator. Right. Africa comes from Leo Scipio's Africanus, those are two white men. Do you come from two white men? No. Exactly. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Read it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. They say it is evident that our Lord Jesus Christ, he sprang out of Judah. That's the truth. So today, if Christ walked this earth today, he'll be a so-called African American or a black man, right? Right. What color is your skin? I don't know. Brown. Brown. What color is your jacket? Black. How we black? That's the color in the crayon box. Exactly. How we black? Our nationality changed ever so often. Right. You feel me? Read. Of which tribe Moses spent nothing concerning priesthood. All right, give me Deuteronomy 28 15. So I'm going to show you how we know that we are the Israelites. I'm going to show you. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, I need you guys to hear these words. Come over here and learn your nationality. Learn the laws that you need to keep. How you doing, brother? How y'all doing on the bus? Y'all come over here. We're trying to teach our black, Hispanics, and Native Americans their nationality according to the Bible. This is how we know that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. He's a but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, Moses is saying, it shall come to pass. I mean, it's going to happen if what? If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we want to hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Hey, brother, brother with the hat, come, come talk to me. So I see you looking at this side. What's your name? Come on, I'm Nakia Roy. Oh. So, do you, know, you down. do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Hey, hey brother, check this out. When I saw that Caesar Borgia right there. Yeah, you, you know, know who that right is, there. right? You know that's the damn devil, I right? Come from. I know where it's got them in. So, do you know your Israelite according to the Bible? Yeah, stop saying, man. Huh? Look, no, no, I'm going to tell you, I started out to be a white boy. So, when I started, when I started really. And where did you learn all of this from? Come on, man. Where did you learn all of this from? So, do you know, do you know. Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Because you're not, you're not a vice lord. I know that. All right. Going to the penitentiary. Okay. I a lot of knowledge. So let me, let me show you something according to the Bible. Let me show you how we know we, we are Israelites according to the Bible. All right. To, to observe to do all his commandments. To what? To observe to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. Today is the seventh day. We should not be fine or selling or working today. These are the laws that the Most High gave Moses to us, you black, Spanish, and Native Americans. How you doing, brother? Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all Israelites according to the Bible. What's your name? What would, what would be your nationality today, according to this side? just got a question, too. Tribe of Evil. So you a so-called Puerto Rican today, right? Well, you are an Israelite, according to the Bible. Right. Hey, brother, hey, brother over there, you said you had a question? So I'm his nationality. All right, so this is what I'm going to do to all y'all. All y'all, listen up, listen up. This is what Moses is saying to the children of Israel, which are you black, Spanish, and Native Americans. We're not Puerto Ricans, we're not blacks, we're not Hispanics, we're not Native Americans. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's I'm going to prove right. to you how we know that. We just, this is not my word that's coming out of the Bible. Do you guys believe in the Bible? Yeah. You believe in the Bible? All right, read what you get from the top. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Listen up. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, meaning this is going to happen. This, like I said, this is Moses talking to the children of Israel, which is you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you won't listen. Today we don't want to listen. Where y'all going? I'm trying to teach y'all y'all nationality. Where y'all going? Come back to me. This is the most important information you're going to learn in your right. life. I'm telling you this right now. I'm telling you, you need to know who you are. Right. You need to know that. Right. 
six, seven months ago. Okay. But was that pastor teaching you your nationality? Was he teaching you God's law and the commandments? my father. Exactly. Okay. Who you we? 52 years. Okay. He's been a pastor. So. Liberty Center. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I need y'all to hear this information. I need y'all to hear that this is not my words. This is not nothing we came up with. This is the Bible. Y'all said y'all believe in the Bible, right? Listen to God speaking to y'all. This is the Lord speaking to y'all. Read. I read the Bible. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Come on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, as blacks and Spanish and African Americans, are we a blessed people or are we a cursed people? Come on, we cursed. Why don't we start from the beginning? Are, are we a blessed people or are we a cursed people? What's going on with the Puerto Ricans today? Are you, are, are you guys living up high? Are you guys living in the best places? We live in the ghetto. Black, Spanish, and Native Americans, we're living in the same condition. We are cursed because we won't listen to the Most High God. We won't follow His laws, statutes, and commandments. I'm going to give you so. Let's just listen up. Listen up real quick. I see y'all standing. Come over here. I got to go, baby. 353. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. I will give you pastors. The Most High said He is going to give us pastors. You're looking at them right now. The, not the Christian pastors that are in the church, not your father that's in the church that's not teaching you the laws that is the commandments. Read it again. And I will give you pastors. Read. According to my heart. According to his heart, which is his Bible. These Christian pastors today are not coming out of the Bible. They're coming with their own thoughts and their own feelings. Read. We shall feed you with knowledge. Feed you with knowledge. The knowledge is the law, that is the commandment. Right. Like I said, today is the Sabbath day. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you shouldn't be buying or selling today. You shouldn't be working today. You should be congregating with like-minded people. You need to learn your nationality and know who you are according to the Bible. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Sus. So today, will we be a blessed people, so-called blacks? Will we be a blessed people or a cursed people today? Look at, look at how we live. Is this, are we blessed or are we cursed? The blessed are, the blessed are those who choose to bless. The cursed are those who walk according to darkness and what, curse. What scripture is that? Uh, it's in, if you would turn from your wicked ways. What's our wicked ways? Right now we, we have not turned from our wicked ways. So the ones that have not turned from the wicked ways, they're still operating under the curse. But those that are blessed are up. Uh, so you know what the wicked ways are? Wicked ways is not following God's law, statutes, and commandments. I want you to know something, that you are an Israelite according to the Bible. You're not an African American, you're not a black person. Your skin is brown. So how can you be black? That's the color in the crayon box. Right now, we, we, we're trying to show our people who they are. Because for so long during slavery, we've been lied to. Right. So read, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The Most High said, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are cursed in the city. Right. Why are we cursed in the city? Because we're sitting there down the street selling drugs to our people. Read we're selling up. poison to our people. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. How else are we cursed in the city? We get killed in, we get killed in the street. Just like on the news, the guy in Michigan. The guy in Michigan. Uh, have you looked at the news recently? The guy in Michigan, he got killed by the police. But in the back of the head. We said no, it's still black on black crime, but we don't care. But we care about when a, when a cop kills us, then we want to riot, we want to start marching and things like that. We're cursed in the city, we're the last hired and first fired. If, a, if, if you got a white person that has the same qualifications as you, who's going to get that job? I used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. 
The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.